Good evening and welcome to Tuesday night at Grey Barn Antiques. Sorry we missed last Tuesday night. We had a unforeseen leak, which of course I was the one who got to walk into that mess last Tuesday night. So I did not get to do my video as I had wanted as I was trying to control the water in the kitchen. Apparently there's a water heater above the kitchen, which we didn't know about. I'm going to just kind of quickly show you what we get to deal with as far as not knowing where all the tool, where everything is in this building. That's not... Now it looks like it would be in upstairs like you could access normally, but you can't. So it's all the way in that back corner up there, which Don had to get a very tall ladder to get up there, which is why our snowman stays up there all year round. Because once he got him up there, he's like, I'm not doing that again. So it's just a single water heater, tiny little thing, and apparently had a hole in it. And that water had been building up and it came crashing down into the kitchen. So needless to say, I don't have any hot water right now. So tonight we're going to... So, it was, you know, as always, there's something here. And it's always me that walks into it on the first of the month. March 1st was our oil leak. This was Tuesday, August 1st. So I didn't do any videos other than the, I did my Facebook Live on Wednesday night. And I did a new thing called the Reigns of the Sales. And that's going to be, because there's not that much stuff left, I'm just compiling that into one video so you don't have to sit and watch through the whole video of the live unless you want to. But then you see things and then you see that they sold. So I'm trying to make it not so heartbreaking if things that you wanted have gone. So we do that now. And then Saturday night was our jewelry live. We do those twice a month. The next one is the 26th, I want to say, whatever that Saturday is. The Saturday after the 19th. So that'll be the next jewelry live. And of course, every Wednesday night at 5.30, I am still doing my Facebook live. Tonight, we're going to visit with three of our vendors, Burning Sensation Antiques, who has three booths and two shelves in the locked case room. Lazy Q Ranch, who has a bookcase in the back and has been with us now for over a year. And joining us now is Cavalier Collectibles. Now, the little names in the parentheses are the IDs on their tags. So, Burning Sensation Antiques goes by Ugmo, Lazy Q Ranch goes by Char, and Cavalier Collectibles goes by Jen. So, we're going to start in the case room. Oh, we just got candles in. We just got a huge delivery from Coyer. We love these candles because they are 100% soy with a cotton free. With a, I'm sorry, with a lead-free cotton wick. So they burn super clean and the scents are amazing. So we just got these back in. We have the large for $14 and then the small is $9. And the average burning hours on those is about 70 hours on the large, the 16 ounce. And the small burns about 40 hours for $9. So we have all kinds of, they have such fun scents. And uh, Don seems to like the ones that smell like food. I have to remind him that they are candles. Do not eat the candles. It's like the, the tangerine. I remember when I was a kid, my sister got me to eat the orange crayon because she said, smell, it tastes like a real orange. So yeah, I was one of those kids. My sister, my big sister got me to do a lot of things that I, I shouldn't have done. But you know, hey, we were kids. It's how we played, right? So we're in the front room. We call this the case room because even though we do have open bookcases, this is where we have our vendors locked case items. And Nobody has a full case. They rent shelves from us. So you've visited all these shelves with us in the past. And there's usually some change-ups as they mark things down, bring in new things, things sell, they fill in the space. So this guy just came in, this beautifully colored rooster. 25, so it's 20% off, so that'd be $20. And that is the same for cash or credit card. Colors infused in there. And again, all the vendors we're visiting with tonight are... 20% off. Same for cash, credit, PayPal. And we do ship. Just check out our bio information. I don't know if that was tested. 960 Bakelite case. There's two decks of cards in there. And again, if you want more information on anything, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. And I will gladly send you more information on those, more pictures. It doesn't have to be anything just from this video, anything you see in our past videos, our Facebook and Instagram page, which we're always posting on. And when I say we, I mean me. So always, you know, reach out and ask for Jeanette because I'm the one who does all this. This just came in. 24 for the nickel plate iron Afghan hound. But he's got a little bit of weight to him and he is marked on the bottom. Mascots made in England. So that's a pretty neat little piece. And a bobblehead turtle. We have a smaller bobblehead turtle in the shop as well. So again, this is Burning Sensation Antiques. That Royal Hager picture back there, it's beautiful color yellow, is just $20. Oh, I know you guys love your copper. This is a cutie. And that is 16 on that one. 
I'm not seeing a maker's mark. It's just a nice little hammered with a nice applied handle on it. Very cute. Let's get that price so it's facing. Another copper piece back there for 12. So we have baseball cards. What are those Las Vegas stars? We should have full. Okay, so that's triple A clearly. Let's see. And that's $8 for that. Three baseball cards. A nice hand vase for McCoy for $28. Again, that's a lighter yellow than that Hager vase in the back. It's more of like a buttercream. Boy, oh, haha. Ha. I ate my Wheaties before I came. I forget what was here, but that just sold this weekend. This, his head's a whistle. Try to remove head, it is a whistle. So I'm not sure, I guess the whistle would be here. I'm not gonna play with that just this moment. I love this ink well. $80. So you would put your ink in and flip that up that way. So this was Burning Sensation Antiques. That was their two case shelves. And we are going to head on to the back where we're going to visit. Well, I think we'll first take the right hand turn and then we'll this way it makes sense on what we're doing here. This is one of three of Burning Sensation Antiques booths with the Gray Barn, located in Andover, New Jersey. Our next weekend event is August 19th and 20th. We will have for that weekend on Saturday only the retired U.S. Major from the Army, uh, Major Thompson, will be here. And what he does is he authenticates and he buys and sells military collectibles. And also here on Saturday only will be our first time coming to the Gray Barn, longtime shopper is the Forage Nest. That's our friend Liz who recreates, she takes vintage items and repurposes them and makes them into beautiful home decor for you. Both days we have our friend Kim outside who does beautifully beaded jewelry and ornaments and such and that's Silvery Moon Jewelry and she'll be here Saturday and Sunday. Inside our vendors do additional discounts and those are good only in the shop. They are not good on social media. They are not good for the shipping. It is a strictly in-house special sale weekend. So this is $12 for the steamboat tray, Middlesex advertising tray. What boat is this? Maryland, Delaware, Virginia Railroad Company. Huh. That's a steamboat, okay. And this was from the Bank of Middlesex. I don't know which bank that was. Oh, here we go, the French town. This is made in New Jersey, this tray. So very cute, cool. Souvenir collectible. We got a lot of cast iron. I got this out and I can't get it. There we go. I don't want to get in trouble for not putting things back. I get in trouble with Don all the time. Everybody knows that. Okay, this is a cute little bank phone. It does have the stopper made in Japan and that is $16. We've a lot of people who collect banks. We've been selling a lot more yellowware lately. It's good to see that making a comeback. He makes these slate boards. This one does have the holes in it. The one that I show you before at the start with who I'm featuring is one of Burning Sensation's handmade slate chalkboards, just like this shelf here, which we, I've talked to you about before, which we have on front. There's a Frank's crate for 20, what is that? 35, so if it comes 28, so I can't see that far. But with my handy dandy stick, I actually can. So a little cute little gem sifter for 12. It's got a lot of great tins in his booth. 12 for this one for the Lipton's orange Pico tea bags. It's got a lot of great advertising banks. This is a, what is this? Fine smoking. So this is a camera and this is a tobacco tin for $20. This is a neat little advertising piece. It's like a felt and the letters are Thin Balsa Castoria, and that is $24, and that is on a piece of wood, and it was made just to hang up in a shop. $16 on the piece of, oh, it's all, they attached it to a wood block, so this is a nice finial that's been attached to that. I know a lot of people like to take uh, and, and dry brush that and give it a little chippy feel to it. It's a nice decorative piece that way. Wow, that's a great deal on this table. Just $60 for the two-tiered table. 
photo album. This is a really fantastic photo album. I don't know if I can open this with the one hand for $48. It has a lot of great pictures in it. And I don't think I, oh, I can, look at that. So this photo album does have a lot of photos in it. So, okay. it's a nice Coke uh, tray, um, crate, sorry. That's a nice little grater back there for 12. I can't quite get over there. No, it's, always working on their booth. They just came in on Sunday, I want to say. What's today? Tuesday. So I think they were in on Sunday and brought in more stuff and restocked. So then Don will come through and straighten it up and work on fitting all the wonderful pieces of furniture. Now that first table I showed you is obviously an antique, but a lot of these tables like this one back here, Ron, the vendor that has this booth along with his lovely wife, Linda, he makes these. He repurposes old wood and old bases of fish tanks, sewing machines, you name it. He's made some amazing uh, large, uh, uh, what do you call them, kitchen islands out of original general store countertops and such. They were huge. And then he used bed posts for the, the legs on them. They came out beautiful. We had three of those in different sizes and they all sold. He brought a lot of fantastic old books as well. Voyage Around the World, Volume 1 and 2. So you can see, ooh. Let's see. 15 firm. I don't have, without making a mess here, I can't really, I don't want to take this down. What is that? History of our war with Spain and our war with the Filipinos. Fully illustrated. So some great books here. In so-so condition. Old Days of New York. That looks fascinating. We have some nice old books here, a lot of great old boxes. Children's typewriter for 32. Nice cabbage grater for 17.60. That's a neat thing. What is that? Long boot jack for $20. That's interesting. A lot of trivets. We went through these before. Uh, if you're interested in any of these, just let me know. Great scale. Wow. Really, $32 for this nice old scale. It's got the counterweight measure here. Slides along. Look at that beautiful brass. You got that nice cast iron. Cannot ship that one. $24 for the cook, quick, cook, quick pressure cooker. That's one of those ones, say, 10 times fast. He just brought in this great old cookbook as well for 15 firm from 1958, the CIA's Encyclopedia Cookbook. It's a nice piece of cast iron just for decoration for 960. This clock does work, does shine. We have the key at the counter and that's just $60 for the regulator. Another one, Don won't ship clocks. He's just afraid that they get jostled around too much and the inner mechanisms will not make it. So he's very skeptical on changing that. There's a lot of great ephemera here. Like I said, a lot of great cast iron chains. This booth is the one that has all their tools and their heavier metal items and such. And again, we are visiting with Burning Sensation Antiques. I sell these things all the time during my lives. There's another one for $4. If nobody claims this tonight, I'll be pulling that up for tomorrow night's show because I know everybody loves those. Now he's enclosed. These are the old insides of those secretaries, the desks, and he's enclosed this in a nice harder piece of wood so you can use it. And it's got room on the top to use as a nice dis um, organization piece. I actually bought the smaller one because it fit in a spot that I have on the counter to help me get a little bit more organized here. That's a great price on this oil can, just $2.40 on that little guy. That's a very good deal on that. Clover compound tin for $9.60. You know, if this doesn't sell tonight, I'll pull that up tomorrow and it will definitely be gone. Consolidated Tea Company, 1913, from the 30th uh, expedition in Paris for $12 and it's plain to see he's got a lot of planes right here 
And a lot of these tools are still working. We have a lot of folks that come in to purchase the vintage tools because they are made better than what you got back in the day that you get now. The stuff made then was made to last. I know a lot of stuff now breaks apart. Now this is the center of the booth again. Here's another one of his original tables that he has made. A cute little barrel. And that is just $40. And this is what I'm talking about because I wanted to see if Don could ship this clock. It's $32. It's not working. It's a beautiful gingerbread clock, but it's a fantastic price. And you actually can work on fixing those yourselves. There's a lot of YouTube videos that you can watch, but he said no. So I tried. I tried to get a clock to ship for you guys, but I was denied. This bowl, as a surprise, this was on the remains of the sales last week. I'm just surprised it's still here for $16. There's no... There's like a little crack there, but it's nothing major. It just ends right there. It doesn't go through the whole bowl. It's like I said, still usable. You just need your food safe oil to bring that luster back to that. And he actually has these heaters. They are working. This just came in. This is just a cast iron uh, that you hang in your garden for 16. I would definitely waterproof that. And this is an unusual bucket and that has the little screener on the top. So this is our visit with the first booth from Burning Sensation Antiques. I'm going to get the lights now that I am here and moving on over to his other two booths. We are passing Andover Junction here. On our right is our vendor, Auntie's Attic. I didn't turn any of the lights on except for the booths that we are visiting. And we're passing. Now this desk, I'm just, I'm going to stop at a couple of things on my way here because I think this desk is a fantastic deal. It's just a gorgeous old desk. I have nowhere for it. It doesn't have the key, but it has an old keyhole and she's reduced it significantly from 200 to 100 and a quarter and then 20% off making it $100. I just love the patina on this desk. Look at that old wood inside. It has that little shelf in there. It is just a gorgeous writing desk and it's just a hundred dollars and it is super old and it's just beautiful i just don't have the room for it that's the pro this is the hard thing about being in here is i don't have the the room for it 48 on the whole wheat malt milk biscuit one okay so this is the two booths of burning sensation on this side we're going to start with this one there is a table that is out uh, past its boundaries because don like i said they came in on sunday and he is working on fitting all those into this booth. And he likes to take his time when he does that, make sure everything is walkable and nice and neat. So we have a nice doorstop here for just $17.60, an old display case from Gillette for $52. Again, this is Burning Sensation Antiques. Take that 20% off. This is the vendor that I always comment on every video about how amazing he gets his brass and copper. And all the lights that you buy here, the electric lights have been rewired and the oil lamps, you gotta see these amazing oil lamps hanging, are functional. So the double entendre of the burning sensation antiques, or the burning sensation of these old lights, which you will see in the HBO show, The Gilded Age. So again, here's more of his original tables. I'm gonna take a step back. You can check out this amazing coffee table. And again, these are handcrafted by Ron himself. He is 76 years old and still going strong, doing a lot of carpentry. So we have this little 64 World's Fair set. The ashtray is 960. The coasters are marked down to just eight. There's a little wear and chip and tear. And let's see, the trays are eight dollars each as well for the Unisphere. So this cute. Look at this is cute. This is 44 for this cutie. He's 12 inches tall. Isn't that nice with the little stand? It has the little spigot on it. Very sweet. Nice piece of glass here for just 12 dollars. Oh. Amber glass bowl that's got some serious weight to it. That is vintage. This is a depression period piece. That is the cherries, as you can see, and it's a ruffled edge. It's a beautiful piece of glass. We've got a lot of great cake stands in. One of the things that I am pulling up for tomorrow night is this candle stick, this candelabra. We'll get the little guy's hand out of there. And that is just $12 for this lovely piece of silver plate, which has in remarkably good shape. That's a nice one for just $12. They just brought in this lovely painting for $32. Yeah, that is an oil that is not a print and that's a pretty good size. It's all framed. $32, folks, for an oil painting. This is another rich, interesting piece that he brought in. This is a print of the Duscany Incline in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for just $40. 
and that is framed and all matted and you can see it's got the original mat and frame on that a lot of great different items in here more of a contemporary mirror and that is priced at $32 artwork that has the real human hair in it on that picture there again here's a lot more of the copper and brass this one is copper and brass together in one, and that is 16 with the brass bottom and the copper handle. Nice pair of brass candlesticks that he's got shining up so nicely at 12. It's a nice size coffee pot, and that is $16. Works. So this one has the inserts inside of it. So that's a cocktail shaker, that silver hammered one. A whole bunch of different chopping blades, $12 for that one in the front. And again, if you want more information on anything that I went by too fast, just let me know. It's best if you're not on social media and you email me to please put the timestamp at what point you saw the item in the video that you wish me to go to. And if you can also tell me which video it was. Uh, YouTube does a wonderful thing where they don't put the dates on it. So if you can reference the vendors, just say Burning Sensation, it's August uh, video, so I know because I, I go through and I'm like, they don't have the dates. I mean, it makes no sense to me. But yeah, it is what it is. So, nice. The White Rock Lady for $17.60. This, I can't believe, is still here. It's just $24. Look at the bottom of that milk glass with that gorgeous oil lamp there. Unusual lamp for $88. And you'll notice that some of the items that were in here the last time we did this are gone. So that's what happens, 12 for the Daisy Mixer. We had that beautiful lamp that finally sold. 24, just need that right person to come in and they're gonna grab it. I, this, one, this one's interesting back here. Needs rewiring. So this is an actually Manhattan brass student lamp with a nice old shade for 64. So that one does need the rewiring, but the brass on it's been spiffied up really nicely. Newer resin dog on a motorcycle on a moped for twelve dollars. Nice piece of pottery. Nine sixty. No maker, most likely a USA pottery. That's a very nice little piece there. That's that's Stangle down there. Stangle did all different things. Behind here we have a bunny basket hiding for sixteen for Cracker Barrel, Mr. and Mrs. Bunny Basket. There's an advertising fork for twelve dollars. It is. Ruford the Wholesome Baking Powder. I didn't know that there were impure baking powders, so apparently that one's the wholesome one. Nice Griswold pan for 40, that's a skillet. This unusual hat stand for 12. It's most likely a retail stand. You would have found that in a shop. This nice Star of David, 1440 on this one. And he's got those shined up beautifully. Resort, the backs of the, um, the slot machines, the mirrored pieces, and tropical heat, they're $16 each. That one's Alice Sunkist, oops. And this one is also the same price, resorts for a dollar. Oh, these just came in. They have the plastic inserts, but they are cast iron. They're just $20 for those. And uh, Don got mad at me because he was showing them to somebody. He said, look at these great plant stands. And I said, yeah, and they double for if you go to storm the castle. You could use these as your, your uh, torches with your pitchforks when you go to storm the castle. He didn't find that humorous. A nice crock down here. And you can see he's reduced the figurehead to uh, 48. And this crock is 40. There's a heavy piece of cast iron here. And that is $96. He does have the measurements on that as well. And we do have the mason jars, a lot of milk bottles. Always be sure to look up. And this is the third of their booths. And after we visit with Burning Sensation, I'm going to take you right around the corner over here to two bookcases to visit with our newest vendor and Lazy Q Ranch. There's several things in this booth as well that I was gonna bring up tomorrow night if they don't sell tonight or tomorrow sometime during the, uh, before the Facebook Live. This is interesting. That's a good price, $19.20. Let's see the condition on that. Okay, so there's your mark. So if you know anything about the Chinese uh, periods and that, this is a very good deal on this for $19.20. I'm not seeing any condition issues on that. 
Very nice piece. This is a five gallon star here for 44. It does have some condition issues. It has a little chip there. That's a neat jar over there. Nice writer, chem, Fords, New Jersey. Carpenter drum. I don't see the price on that, but if that's something that interests you, just let me know and I will find that for you. That's a, that's a nice vase there for 24. Restore your heirloom opalescence, as is, what does that say? Small chip, okay. The as is is Don's handwriting. Okay. Some great syrup dispensers, the shelf, is that shelf for sale? No, that one's our shelf, I think. I'm not sure. I know there's some shelving here for sale, not all of it is, but some of it is. Like these tinier shelves are definitely for sale. That's a cute little picture there. 960 out of Reading, PA for the two young ladies. We got some great little cruets going on here. Look at the prices on that. Five firm. Definitely pulling these up if you guys don't jump on these tonight. Great price on these. This is crystal. That's that nice piece of cut glass. It's got some serious weight to it and it has the stopper. Some beautiful uh, pewter here too. Rice pewter shaker for 12. And I will confirm if those cups do come with it that are in front of it, the little stemmed glasses. A lot of great pieces in here. It's a pretty little picture for 16. And my little baby's up at his Civil Air Patrol in his uniform. He got a promotion uh, last week. He got a, he went from cadet to cadet airman now, so he's working hard at that. What does this say on it? Oh, it does have a crack in it. That's a shame. I can see the crack from here. Restaurant where pitcher for 640, the Gunther. That's still, a, oh, it's a shame it goes all the way through. But if you know where the Gunther is and you want a souvenir from there for six dollars and forty cents, that's not a bad price. It's priced accordingly to the condition of it. Nice pair of bookends here for just twenty dollars. There are the pop metal men reading the books. I'm gonna kill this light so I'm not shining and killing my eyes here on it as well. More tables that he's created. Look at this piece here. That's a, another one of a kind for 80. Very unusual. And again, we are in Burning Sensation Antiques, their third booth. This shelf here is made from part of piano and it is for sale. And there's the price on that is $100. And you can see it's made from an 1850s grand piano. So there's another piece over here. Oh, look at this cute little table. This one's smaller than the other one. So if you don't have quite the room for the other cart coffee table, but you want an original coffee table, check out this one. Look at the beautiful woodwork on that. Very pretty. Now, one of the other things I was going to pull up tomorrow was this Royal Copley vase. This is very nice and it is a good price. It is $16. That is Royal Copley. And this is the kind of wall pocket. It has the hole that you can hang it or it can stand freestanding. Has a nice Watts bowl, has a hairline for 16. Nice corn mold for just 1440. A couple little chips on it. That is the yellow, gives me the yellow wear. It's a very nice piece. Now look at this guy. It's an interesting souvenir that somebody put together for 16. That's a, it's out of Sweden, so that's a cute little souvenir there. This is a tool. This isn't part of the table. I had to look down myself because it kind of looked like it. All right, what do we got here? Rooster egg cup. This is the large egg cup, and this is for $9.60 for this one. This is a larger egg, more like your duck egg. These steins just came in, and they are priced very well, and they are authentic German steins. This one's $9.60 from Avon. We have a mix here. Avon. He's got some other ones here and I think the prices are $9.60 and $14.40 I think Don said. Sorry, I was looking behind me at them. So uh, $12. So $9.60 and $12 for the different steins. Very good prices on those. Oh, that's got a nice sound to it. $32 for that nice brass bell. And there's just a nice hook for $16 plant hook. All right, now we're going to head on back to our 
two vendors who happen to be neighbors. So we have, here we have on the left, we have the Lazy Q Ranch, and on the right we have Cavalier Collectibles. So these are their two spaces, and they are also 20% off vendors. And I'll be featuring a lot of their stuff tomorrow night as well. A lot of the stuff just came in. She was just in this weekend restocking. Nice milk can for just $11.20. Cute little uh, Fire King dish for $4.80. I can't really, it's harder for me on these, on the bookcases to pull things out to show you. But again, please do not hesitate to ask me. This is a very good deal, $6.40 on this little guy. He's a little tea light holder from Yankee Candle from 2012. And again, don't forget to take that 20% off. I can't believe this is still here. I gotta remember to bring this up tomorrow night if it doesn't sell. $6.40 for the little thing of drawers. I know people love those. Oh, that's a good price on that. $11.20 on the washboard with the, this is the galvanized false craft sugar for $20. And we're gonna just swing over to here. Is this hers? Yeah, it is, okay. $5.60 for the vase. I think it's a stangle, maybe not. But it looks like that stangle style. Look at this little copper guy. And he is $4, as is 1986 Teleflora. Handle's a little loose. I love this green picnic basket. That was another uh, rolling pin. My mind just went off. It's pretty green. I love it. It's $24. Um, I'm sorry, $20. I wish I just brought in more of these because this is a great price. $8.80 on this one goes to 90 inches. And this one is just $4.80. So I'll be bringing up more of her items again tomorrow night as well, as well as from the vendors we just visited. So cute little blue and white dish over there for 16 with the bunnies on it, nice box there. And she sold the bigger bowl that was underneath this. And again, this is Cavalier Collectibles. So we're going to walk up from the other side in case there was anything over there that I wanted you to see. And don't forget, tomorrow night at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time is our weekly Facebook Live. I just kind of like to come around so you can see the changes and the vendors that we'll be visiting with shortly. And see if there's anything that you see while I'm strolling that you must have more information about. Redreamable on the right. Here's where we started as far as booths go. And Andover Junction is right in front of us. She used to be a longer burger distributor. We're getting to that time of the year for Halloween. We have a couple of low molds left. The carriers for, that was just 640. It's been reduced. And we are back in the front. I'm trying to think of besides the candles. I mean, I got a lot of stuff that came in. I showed you the cookies and stuff the last time that just came in. So we're going to go back to show you who we visited with and how you can get a hold of us. All this information can be found up in our biography. If you do not already do so, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're alerted to new content. This is Tuesday, August 8th's video, Burning Sensation Antiques, Lazy Q Ranch, Cavalier Collectibles. We do ship most of the items. We are located in Andover, New Jersey at zip code 07821. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night on our weekly Facebook Live at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. You can find us on Facebook at Gray Barn Antiques, the same handle as our channel here on YouTube. Have a wonderful evening.